eBay breaks, which is the lone eBay break. 2019 Heritage Baseball, three box break number three, which is right now. So let me put this stuff aside. Let's see what we got. That sounds very interesting, John. Just get, just get drunk and throw darts. I can only imagine you, that you probably have some good stories for me. Like that one time you nailed the guy in the eye or something. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, for you, not, not so much for the guy that, you know, got his eye darted out. This is bothering me. It's a little too bright for my liking. That looks a lot better. You hit someone in the back of the neck? Ooh. What, did it turn into like a bar fight? I've actually never been involved, involved in a bar fight. I, I am sad to admit... Well, you know, it's still, it's still, you know, early in life, I guess. I'm, I'm going to be 30 years old, so there, there is still time to participate in a bar brawl. You know, growing up, I used to watch Jean-Claude Van Damme movies and, you know, Rambo and, and, all, and all these freaking, you know, like karate kung fu, like man macho movies. And at some point, you know, they just have a bar brawl, you know, like it just, it just happens. You know, everybody got tank tops on or like a jean, you know, jacket with a sweet mustache and like these, you know, glasses on or whatever. They're at a bar and, you know, and shit hits the fan and boom, you got to duke it out. So I kind of just always figured, well, damn, you know, this is a natural part of life. I need to get ready for when my bar brawl comes around, you know? Has not happened, you know, but I, I, I like to think that I'm ready. Oh, John, I can, I can only imagine. Well, I actually, I am imagining it. <laughs> Something like that has to, you know, the only way that I could end is in a fight. Johnny D. Now that is the job I'm more so interested in right there. You know, being a dart shooter, that's cool. But being a bouncer at a at a gentleman's facility? That right now 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 I want to hear stories from that one right there. Bar brawls are not ready for you're probably right, Alex. I I, I fight dirty. I'll be throw, I'd be the one throwing stools around, you know, broken bottles, throwing them at your face like shuriken. I play dirty. I play dirty. Uh, with that being said, good luck to y'all in this break. Let's see what we got. Oh, It is definitely tough to get a hit in this set. But the cards are nice. Like if you're just starting off your uh, your collection in the hobby or whatnot, you know, this is a, a nice introduction. What about you, Alex? You, you got any uh, any bar stories for me? Let's go to a team. Man, how about all the free agency signing going on today? 
or I should say the last couple days in, uh, in the NFL. Things have been crazy. Really, John? Oh, well, look at the uh, relic there. Jose Ramirez Indians. I was actually going to say I'm sure bar fights now are a lot less uh, than they were back in the day. There you go, Matt. No, you know, not a bad deal, right? Five bucks. Maybe get the Browns. You're seeing there's a chance? You damn skippy. How the hell you been, Matt? Hope all is well. Alex used to work as a bouncer for real. I can only I can imagine though, like as a bouncer. You know, you, you get friendly with the uh, with the workers there if you catch my drift. Like, oh my God, thank you for saving me from that jerk. Let me thank you uh, in the champagne room. And uh, don't tell nobody. Dude, Matt, what you think about uh, the Browns making all kinds of moves? They just traded for freaking Odell Beckham. I, I I would argue they easily have the best receiving core in all of in all of it in all of football. You got Jarvis Landry, who's arguably the best receiver. You know when it comes to third downs and, and conversions and yak. And then you got Odell, your home run hitter. How are you gonna stop that? And and they can run the ball with Nick Chubb. And they got Kareem Hunt. That defense is still looking good, even though they did give up Jabril Peppers. I'm sure they're going to find somebody in the draft or something. Dude, man, the Browns are looking like they're probably going to win the division next year. I mean, the Ravens made some good moves. They picked up Earl Thomas at safety. So that's an upgrade from Eric Weddle, in my opinion. Uh, they also picked up Mark Ingram from the Saints. Nah, Kareem Hunt got picked up by the Browns player. The Raiders got uh, Antonio Brown. And Le'Veon Bell going to the Jets. So lots of moves being made. The Giants look like they're in rebuild status. Clearly giving up Odell. They got a first, I think they got a first round pick, a fifth round pick, and Jabril Peppers in the trade. Dude, the Browns are stacked, man. Yeah, dude, they got Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb back there. You know, I, I I say they should try to pick up Tevin Coleman, too. You think Jags messed up getting foals? Dude, I was pretty pissed off that the Dolphins didn't even try to make him an offer. I was really hoping we did. I, I'm, I'm also kind of upset that Teddy Bridgewater denied our offer uh, and, and is choosing to be a backup in, in, in freaking uh, with the Saints. So it looks like the Dolphins are probably looking towards the draft next month to uh, to find their quarterback. Uh, at this point, I'm almost certain that the Giants are going to pick up Dwayne Haskins or maybe even Kyler Murray uh, for their quarterback. So I, I'm worried that the Dolphins aren't going to have their pick of either or uh, at the 13th pick, which means we're probably going to have to move up in the draft. I mean, we signed Devontae Parker to a two-year deal. I still like Devontae. You know, if, if he can get healthy, that kid, that kid is a stud. Um, you know, our receiving core was destroyed last year via injuries. But up until week four or five, when we were healthy, we had one of the most explosive receiving core in the NFL. You know, we had some of the fastest receivers, Albert Wilson, Jakeem Grant burning boys out here and Kenny Stills got burners on them too 
All we need is a quarterback, man. It's, that's really all it boils down to. We get us a quarterback, and we 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 turn the franchise around. So it's 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 annoying when I see Nick Foles going to the Jaguars, Teddy Bridgewater with the Saints. It's like what are the what are the Dolphins doing? I like Foles, man. I, I like Foles, but we shall see what he does now uh, playing down south. I would like to see a crazy autograph here. Baseball coming up soon. It's like the best time. In, it's like almost, I would dare say this is the best time of the year for sports. You know, you got hockey and you got basketball, you know, about to reach the playoffs. March Madness. Baseball season is about to start. The NFL draft. It's a good time. And before you know it, college football is going to start. That's what I'm waiting for, man. I, I want to see what the Hurricanes look like now. Uh, with brand new everything. Matt Kemp Dodgers Chrome, which is to nine nine nine. Well, there's a relic. Rafael Davis, Red Sox. I was hoping for uh, an autograph. We can still get it. We do have one box left. Got a random that flashback. The Marlins have been doing okay in spring training. A lot better than I thought they would be. But it's spring training. So, you know, I, I take that with a... Uh, with a hint of salt or, or whatever, if you will. I forget how that saying goes. So far, I haven't seen a variation. I haven't caught it anyway. Pretty good at catching them. Well, that's, that's one right there. I thought that was the color variation, maybe. Nope. Ah, the old black variation for the Royals Denny Duffy. These black variants are uh, apparently limited to 50 or less. Which, again, I say it all the time. I just wish they would number them. Like, what's the point of telling me they're limited to 50? Just put it on there. Just number the dang thing. But whatever. Gotta finalize my taxes tomorrow. <sighs> Not looking forward to that. The Jags are giving Foles twenty-two million dollars a year. Yeah, that's probably why. The, that's probably why the Dolphins didn't pull the trigger. Yeah, I would not give Nick Foles twenty-two dollars a year. I'd give him. I'd give him eighteen tops, and even that's a stretch. Like I'd. I'd be more so in the 15 range. 
You know, I got I got 51 other players to worry about. I think that's how many people are on the roster. 52, I think. You got a 52 man roster. I think. I don't even know what the salary cap is, but it goes up like every year, it seems like. Give me a second. We got my mom's texting me here. The Heat playing later tonight at 7.30 in about two hours. Big game against the Pistons. The Pistons, I believe, are in the seventh spot. The Heat are clinging on to that eighth spot right now. So it's a, it's a big, big game. Every game from here on out is big. All we got to do is handle business and we're in the playoffs, baby. And then D. Wade can arise and go on a stupid, ridiculous run, I'm hoping. A magical Cinderella run. Of course, I'm dreaming, but, you know, hey. Let me, let me, let me dream. LeBron and the Lakers... Technically, still have a chance of getting into the playoffs. I don't think they are, though. That team has uh, a lot of issues, to say the least. All right, last box mojo. Good luck, everybody, especially those without a hit. See what I can do for you in this last box. That's an action image right there. You don't see too many rookies in this. At least with the RC badge. Kyle Tucker. That is the action image variation right there. That's what I like about this set is there are variants. And they've made it pretty easy over the last couple years. Instead of having to look at the code down here at the bottom. You know on the card number underneath the number. It'll tell you what variation it is, is if it is a variation. In this case, action. Can't really see it. Maybe there you can see it a little bit. My thumb is at. But there you go. Let's see what else we can get. Yeah, I bought it. Got a random that flashback. I am thirsty. I need me some water. I might go to a Panthers game soon. A uh, Florida Panthers hockey game. I don't know when. The, I think the season is coming to an end soon. I don't know the exact date. I've actually never been to a hockey game. Ever. And I do mean like ever. But I would not mind going to one. At the very least, I know my beer is going to stay cold. I'm in a giant hockey rink. Yeah, I like our logo. We, have a, we got a nice logo. Maybe I'll pick up a hat or something. Rep the rep them Panthers. Oh, there's 
an autograph. Very nice. I was hoping we'd at least get one. There it is. Bert Blylevin. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. For the 20 twin twins. That's nice. Get that top loaded. Boom. What else we got? Last stack here. Got a little chromey. And Duhar of the Yankees chrome. That's to 999. And that's going to do it for the break. What you talking about, Chris Fitz? Hi, by the way. Anyways. Let us, uh. First, I'm not done with this. Johnny Bench with the uh, box topper. Again, that is not an actual autograph. But let's keep that between me and you. You know, you just tell your friends that's an actual autograph. And then you'll be the life of the party. All right, what's in the 1970s card here? It is an original 1970 card. Surprised it lasts this long. I think so, Fitz. I'm pretty sure that's that's official, man. You know, Don Kessinger for the Cubs. And what's in this? Dolphins let Cameron Wake go to the Titans. So that, that just that just proves to me that we are indeed in, in rebuild mode. We're going young. We're going straight young. It's a shame to see that man go, but you know, at least he'll go to a playoff uh, team. We got Jack Aker here for the Yankees. All right, so that's the break. Now, these cards, as you can see, have multiple teams on them, and I got duplicates, so I'm just going to let my sorter give one to each. All right, so as far as this one's concerned, one to the Red Sox, one to the A's, one to the Indians, one to the Nationals, one to the Mets, one to the D-backs, one to the Twins, one to the Red Sox, one to the Brewers, Reds, Braves, and so on and so forth. All right, that way everybody gets a little sum there. Wow, wow, yeah, fits. That is, uh, dude, that's old news, man. I said that a while ago. But then again, you are just strolling up in here. Multiple teams. And by the way, you never responded to uh, to that message I sent you. You just read right over it and uh, ignored me. That's cool. That's cool. Alright. Got it down. Read the text messages I sent you today, Chris Fitz. Read them over. And then slap yourself. How dare you ignore me. All right, we got these flashbacks, as you can see, don't have a team assignment. So we're going to give them a team. We're going to give them a nice home. We're going to go nine times in the random. All right, let's pull that up. Really, Fitz, really? You're going to make me put you out there like that, bruh? Don't, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Did I not ask you something about the Vikings card you got last night? Maybe I'm tripping. Anyways. We're going nine times in the random. This is for the flashback cards. Top team after nine. Get the flashback cards. Here you go. And the money shot. Nine. Boom. Nine times. The Mariners will be receiving the uh, flashback cards.
Really, Fitz? Damn. I need to lay off that, uh... I need to lay off that stuff. Anyways. Recap time. So, in the 1970s cards, we got Jake Aker Yankees. Don Kissinger Cubs. We got two Chromes. And Duhart Yankees to 999. Duffy Dodgers to 999. And, uh... I'm sorry, Kemp, 1099, and this Duffy black variation apparently is limited to 50. Two relics, one for the Red Sox, Davers, another Ramirez Indians. Action, variation, Kyle Tucker, Astros, and the autograph for the Twins of Burt Bly Levin. And that's it for the break. Thank you very much. We'll get it out to you.